Happy Thursday! Tomorrow is the Ides of March. If you don't know what that is, you should look it up. More importantly, this weekend is St. Patty's Day. Guys, why am I here? You'll see at the end of this video. Um, cool background, though, right? I mean, it's real. Look, that's a real TV. That's neat. Uh, let's talk about what's going on this week. Unfortunately, team, what we've kind of predicted is that rates are still kind of staying here in the high sixes. It's still below seven, so that's always a plus. Uh, but the reality is call it 7% for round numbers. You guys can see the chart here, inflation numbers, which I'm going to show you in just a second, haven't been all that friendly. And unfortunately, we did not stay above that black line. That's the 50-day moving average. And you can see this uh, little chart down below I picked in, uh, showed in here. It shows that we've been overbought. So in other words, uh, we are unfortunately, I think, going to drift higher in rates in the next coming weeks, a uh, week or so. We'll see if I'm right or wrong to, to be determined. But uh, there you have it. And why? Are we having such a rough week or a rough day yesterday? Uh, CPI, that is a, a very big measure of inflation. It's one of the two big ones. And unfortunately, you guys can see in all these numbers, you don't have to look at them. Basically, they were expecting it to hopefully come in about flat, came in just a touch hotter than expected. And the biggest reason is shelter. It was literally, literally half the impact of the month over month piece, uh, the month over month change. So guys, your shelter is just getting more expensive. And unfortunately, we've shown the graph in the past I think the big numbers, the big movements we have we were hoping and wanting are, are coming to an end. So at this point, I don't know that inflation is going to come down as much as we think and hope, uh, but certainly I don't want to be the pessimist. But the reality is, I just don't know that things are going to come down. Now, having said that, here is what's coming down. I thought this was interesting. Eggs. <laughs> That's the big one, guys. Eggs are coming down 17%. Good for us. Uh, but guys, I had no idea. Prepared salads. Check it out at the bottom. Prepared salads. It's gone down 1% in price. I know my wife would be very happy about that. Um, so prepared salads coming down. These are all good news. This is where deflation is happening, and meaning inflation can come down. But the reality is it's not coming down fast enough. Uh, here's some other things. Health insurance. I'm surprised. I've heard, other, I've heard to the contrary. Health insurance has been going up. But here we are. Uh, there you have it. So just some fun news in inflation. Guys, something we do in the mortgage industry, uh, anytime you get your credit pulled, if you're not on the um, the list, they call it the do not solicit list, but you actually have to go and register for your credit, uh, for the credit agencies, Experian, TransUnion, and Equifax, they sell your information, whether you know it or not. And as a mortgage person, we don't love this because when I pull somebody's credit to buy a home, if they haven't unsubscribed, it's called a trigger lead, and there are companies that then buy that information, and then they hound the borrower. It creates confusion. It's annoying. We don't like it. So our industry, we are trying to change this. Uh, we'll see if we are successful, but that is the hope and dream of this, at least. Um, is sticking on the mortgage front, look, it may be over in terms of the worst is over, but we, we shall see. Again, what's interesting is as soon as rates dip back in the sixes, we do see a pickup. But check this out, the average loan amount, look over the other chart on the left, in Q4 of 2022, I have no idea why, I, I'll admit it, the average loan amount was like closer to 320 compared to what's been normal around that 340 range. I'm guessing, making this up guys, maybe, because baby boomers, you'll see that first bullet up there, they hold $19 trillion of American real estate. Maybe when they've sold with rates being you know back where they were uh, in that you know sevens, eights, whatever it was, maybe they just put down more as opposed to um, financing more. That's, I just thought that was really interesting. So you guys can see the loan volume on the right side, how that's been no bueno. Again, it doesn't, that's not reflective of sales because again, people can certainly pay cash and a sale can happen. But you guys can see how the mortgage industry's had a rough go in 2023. And uh, you know, there you have it. I just thought I'd share some of that with you. The year over year loan volume change. Again, you guys can see it as far as the volume, meaning the amount of loans being done. Uh, you can see it starts at 2022, takes you through 2023. Hopefully, you know, Q4 or of uh, 2023 was back to semi-even year-over-year change. So hopefully we're going to see things stay where they are. If not get better, we shall see. So let's have some fun, guys. Um, TikTok, <laughs> you guys, if you've been following this, and I love picking on that younger generation. I don't know why I just do. Um, and I, I do feel for these. These content creators are saying that if they take it away, there goes their income. Well, I also know that there's other content creators uh, and you guys, the guy, the guy who's fighting Mike Tyson, you guys should know, I should look this up before they did, did the video. I know his brother and he uh, are both influencers and they got their start on Vine. Vine apparently doesn't exist anymore. I know it doesn't, uh, but they then switch over to other contents um, or other mediums and they're doing just fine. So while I feel for the TikTokers, if they lose that income, that'd be unfortunate. But the reality is they should start building their brand on another 
uh, site just in case. And then SpaceX, if you guys haven't been following this story, the last one blew up. Everybody thought it was a failure. It was supposed to blow up. They were just happy it got off the freaking ground. But if you guys dig deeper into this, it is absolutely astounding what they've accomplished. Elon, God love you, buddy. But they are doing this at like a tenth of the cost um, of what NASA is doing it. So, I mean, it, it, and they've only been around for however long doing this. So it's unbelievable. This truly could change the world in the future. It may take decades, but the reality is they're doing wonderful things. Um, so just pay attention because as these SpaceX things keep moving forward, it will be interesting. So guys, my chasing excellence, here's where we are. Bucket list. If you don't have one, you should get one because it's a great excuse to get, get your wife to allow you to go on stupid vacations that she otherwise wouldn't go on. So you, you guys remember a uh, vacation, Clark Griswold goes to Grand Canyon and all the stuff to go to Wally World. Yeah, right now, that's what we're doing. Uh, we are spring breaking. We're in the RV. There's a picture of the fam, and we'll be at the Grand Canyon uh, by tonight. So we're super pumped about it. I uh, just want to let you guys know that, again, the bucket list is awesome. I can go into this much, much deeper. If you don't have one, start making one and sharing it with your significant other. Let them know what you want to do in life because, basically, you could wake up and not be here. Uh, it is St. Pat's Day weekend. So the reality is, guys, uh, Sunday, celebrate, be safe. I love this meme. Good job, marketing team. I thought that was pretty funny. I had a loud, out loud chuckle when I saw that. And as always, guys, share, subscribe, get social with us. We appreciate any and all the love, support with the thumbs up, the comments, and all the other follows, et cetera, et cetera. This is the RV. Family's actually in a hotel. We're not sleeping in the RV. Um, Caroline just wants to stay in hotels, and God love her. I, I do too. So with all that said, guys, have a great, wonderful St. Patty's Day weekend. Stay safe, and we appreciate everything you do for us. Have a good one.